everybody, welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video for you. Today I'm here to introduce to you a saw that I really like. This is a Makita XSH-01Z. This is a seven and a quarter inch cordless circular saw. The carpentry industry has had a big demand for corded power in a cordless saw. So they expressed that request to Makita and this is the result of that expression. What this saw does is it takes two lithium ion LXT 18 volt batteries and it puts them together to produce 36 volts of power. And again, this saw runs a seven and a quarter inch standard saw blade. This is a 24 tooth thin kerf carbide tipped blade. This saw has a very nice wide shoe on it. This is a magnesium shoe. It has a nice guard down here that is not all plastic. Some other saws have a plastic blade guard and what could happen is if that saw falls down it will break this piece right here off and the problem with that is that the person would have to replace the whole guard itself because this piece was made onto the blade guard so the expense of that would be around I don't know eight bucks or something to replace that whole guard you have to take the blade off, you have to take the snap ring off to get to the guard to replace it. So they fix that problem by using a single Phillips screw that holds on this piece of plastic here. This housing has a very good direct um, area where it directs the sawdust out of the saw. It also has a screw hole here which will allow for the saw to be connected to a vacuum cleaner for a dustless type cutting application. In the front here you can see there's a slot for a rip fence and right here you can see, let me hold this a little closer for you, you can see that there's a little piece right here that moves and for some of you out there that don't understand what that is, what that piece does is when you go to change the angle of the shoe this little piece will come in contact with this set screw right here and that'll give you a quick 45 degree angle okay because it's a positive stop against that little piece of aluminum there or magnesium I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of but when you move this up out of the way it'll give you a little bit more clearance and the result of that extra clearance would give you up to around 50 degree of an angle of cut here. So I like to keep this forward so that it'll hit so that I go right to 45. You can see that the adjustment levers have rubberized on them so they're very ergonomic. If you look right here inside there's a blade lock which is makes it nice to lock your blades so that you, when you change the blades you just push this button right here where my fingers are moving you just push that in and it, what it does is it locks the blade so that's kinda cool it helps assist in changing the blade you can also see there's a very thick piece of plastic right here what this piece of plastic does is it takes the the hot air that the fan from the armature it's got these fans, these blades on the armature, and as the motor spins, those blades push airflow out of the motor to cool the motor. Well, what's going on right here is it's taking this plastic shroud and it's redirecting some of that exhaust air, if you will, into this area of the saw so that what happens is it blows the sawdust out of the way so that you can see your line. This saw has external brushes. It's not a brushless design. It has external brushes. 
and that's nice because if you need to change them over time to replace the carbon brushes it's very simple to do that just a simple flat head screwdriver you can take the brushes out and put new ones in you're done in like three minutes if it even takes that long in fact to be honest you can do it in under a minute so right here this is where the batteries go in it takes again it takes two 18 volt lithium ion LXT batteries and right here you, these are not battery indicators what these are these two lights light up when your batteries are about to die this other light right here is a temperature indicator so when your saw is starting to get hot if you're running it too hard or something like that that'll light up that'll illuminate um, but these only come on um, when your battery when one of your battery is getting low so it'll it'll give you an indicator and then you know which battery to change out it's kind of nice one of the features that I really like about this saw is this um, lever here is very long so it has a lot of leverage to it you can see on this little red line right here by my finger and you can also see that as you adjust the shoe up and down there's markings on this that tell you how deep uh, you're potentially going so you just line that marking up with this red line here and that's how you would be able to set your blade depth so if we were gonna cut two by fours they're about an inch and a half so I'm gonna go to about an inch and a half maybe a little bit past that and lock this baby into place so it works out really well on the tool itself there's a spot which holds an allen wrench now personally I'm not trying to harp on Makita here, but I don't really care for the location of this wrench. I think that vibration from the tool over time could cause that thing to, to come loose and eventually fall off. However, I've never had that happen yet. The saw has a very nice ergonomic feel to it. It's got rubberized handles and everything feels really comfortable to the hand. It has a very good positive place to grab it in the front. The blade is on the right side of the saw. Uh, this this motor uh, spins at 4,800 RPM, so it it really works well with carbide tip blades. The saw itself weighs approximately 10.1 pounds, so it's a little bit heavy. But and when I say heavy, I'm saying heavy in reference to competing against other cordless circular saws. But if you compete with the weight of this versus a corded circular saw this is actually quite a bit lighter so this is a really cool uh, saw it's the it's the Makita and I really like it so I'm gonna go ahead and take these batteries and put them in real quick and I'm gonna give you a quick uh, shot of what the saw sounds like so they just slide right in they clip into place and you have this little lever here it's ambidextrous so you can get to it from either side this has to be pressed before you can actually press the trigger so there's a look of the saw here's a, a glimpse of it so you can not only see it but hear it as you can tell it has an electric brake The cutting depth of this saw at 90 degrees, if I was to adjust my blade depth all the way to where it'll cut at the deepest setting, this saw can cut two and five eighths of an inch with a single pass of the blade. I really like it because it takes standard seven and a quarter inch blades. The saw does not have an LED indicator that lights up your line of sight it does not have that some of you out there might be looking at this saw knowing that it takes two batteries and you might have the thought running through your head just like I did will it run with just one battery the answer to that question is unfortunately no it doesn't matter which port you put the single battery in it does not run on a single battery it needs two batteries and that's the only way that this saw will run so I'm gonna take the saw outside here and I'm gonna do a few little cuts just to let you see the saw